California congresswoman we told you about last week. Well, she has bought and defaulted on not one, not two, but three homes. You would think that would land her in some hot water with Congress. Not so much. Here's Cara Finstrom with the details. I didn't get a chance. This is how it's supposed to work. Every member of Congress is responsible for living up to the highest ethical standard. But the rest of Speaker Nancy Pelosi's message seemed aimed at one colleague in particular. Many people in our country are caught in the foreclosure crisis. It wouldn't be uh, members of Congress maybe are as well. Well, at least one is California Democratic Congresswoman Laura Richardson. She's in the middle of an ugly mortgage and financial mess. In fact, just one week ago, both the House Minority and Majority Leader asked whether their colleague should face an ethics committee investigation. Melanie Sloan heads the liberal watchdog group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington. Laura Richardson loaned her campaign committee $77,000 for her run for Congress. She did that at the same time she should have been paying her mortgage and her California property taxes. Here's the backstory. Earlier this month, CNN and others reported Richardson's dizzying string of mortgage failures. The congresswoman had loaned her campaigns big money during her climb from local to national politics. At the same time, she was buying not a second, but a third house she could not afford. Um, I had a, a difficult time of being able to properly take care of all of the financial responsibilities that I had. Lenders foreclosed on one of Richardson's houses. She repeatedly defaulted on her other two. Part of the response we've gotten has been, she must have known she couldn't afford three homes. Why did she buy a third home? Um, I don't have a remark to that question. Eventually, Richardson's lender changed its mind on the foreclosure of one of her homes, and that angered the man who bought it at auction. He believes the congresswoman got preferential treatment. As for the ethics investigation, that watchdog group says the appetite to investigate Congresswoman Richardson seems to have disappeared. Although there have been members of Congress who have complained about Laura Richardson's conduct and have suggested that the Ethics Committee ought to look at it, nobody's actually gone to the trouble of sending a complaint over to the Ethics Committee, meaning that the Ethics Committee doesn't have to do anything. Sloan's group filed a complaint anyway, charging the Congresswoman crossed ethical lines. And that brings us back to Steny Hoyer. The majority leader who wondered about investigating his Democratic colleague. He now appears to have done a political about face. Tonight, he's helping her with a fundraiser for her reelection bid. That does not mean because I think questions have been raised that automatically one should assume uh, that those uh, allegations are true or founded. Uh, and therefore, um, Ms. Richardson asked me some weeks ago to uh, uh, sponsor a fundraiser for her. Uh, I assume with others, uh, but in any event, I do that for almost every one of our members, and I agreed to do that. On the one hand, he's saying that her conduct may be unethical, and on the other hand, he's holding a fundraiser to help her retire her campaign debt, which means basically that he's helping her retire her debt to herself and helping her pay off her mortgage. So while everyone's questions about Richardson's financial mess may continue. We're in a tough business. People are making attacks, allegations all the time. Uh, again, uh, the Ethics Committee is uh, uh, specifically designed to look at allegations regarding members' conduct. If this rises to that uh, uh, level, then I think the Ethics Committee should and will uh, look into this matter. At least for tonight in Washington, it's politics as usual. Now, to be clear, Hoyer confirmed he has not recommended an investigation himself. He says that reforms made to the House Ethics Committee I mean they can come to that conclusion on their own. Sloan and her watchdog group say the goals of those reforms are great, but in her words, the House Ethics Committee has a terrible track record, and she says she isn't holding her breath. Campbell? Politics as usual indeed. Cara, thanks very much.